Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And one of the big questions that I seem to get pretty often is, do you need to learn the Mac operating system? And the answer is yes, you actually do. If you wanna be an IT professional, knowing something about the Mac operating system is going to be very beneficial to you because you're gonna find throughout working in your career that there are going to be times where you have to support a Mac. Now, whether that's one Mac or five Macs or even a hundred Macs, it's going to happen because people use these, people love these. Now, am I saying that you need to go out and spend thousands of dollars on these overpriced pieces of equipment. No, absolutely not. In fact, you could take these and you could, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm actually not gonna throw these like I threw the printer because I'm actually a really big fan of the MacBook and only the MacBook. I don't like any other Apple products, but that's an entirely different story. You see, the pro tip that I'm gonna give you here is if you want to learn the Mac OS, just learn Linux. Yes, that's right. All you have to do is learn Linux because in reality of the entire thing here is that Linux and the Mac OS are actually both pretty heavily influenced by the Unix operating system. They're kind of built off of it. And you're gonna find that once you dive into both of these operating systems, you're gonna find a lot of similarities between the two of them. So that's why I say just learn Linux because as you start diving into the Linux OS, you start to learn, you know, the different uh, terminal commands. You start to learn, you know, the GUI of each different Linux OS. And you just have to start to really understand the overall structure of that operating system. Well, once you go and move over to the Mac OS, you're going to find that a lot of those things are almost identical or so similar that it just clicks with you. Now, the terminal commands are somewhat similar. Not every single terminal command from Linux will work on Mac, but most of them do, which is really great. But even, you know, just their folder structures are somewhat similar to one another. So all you need to do is simply download a Linux distribution and install it. So download VirtualBox, download a Linux distro, install that Linux distro, and get started learning. I'm gonna put a link in the description below that actually walks you through the process of installing a Linux distribution with VirtualBox. It's really simple to do, but if you can get started learning Linux and ultimately learning Mac OS from that just by virtualizing a Linux distribution from your very own machine. Now, yes, I should also mention that you can virtualize the actual Mac operating system with VirtualBox on a Windows machine, but there are a couple different hoops that you have to jump through to go and do that. So I don't really wanna highlight that necessarily because I wanna make this as easy for you as possible to do without having to worry about what type of processor you have and what are those different steps that you need to take to virtualize the Mac OS because it can be somewhat complicated to people who have no idea how to do it. But I will put a link in the description below that shows you exactly how to do it based on the processor that you do have because that does actually make a big difference. So check out that link in the description if that's the route you wanna go down. But please note, it is much easier just to download a Linux distribution and run that through VirtualBox because in reality, it's identical in so many ways anyway. Now, the reason why this is so important, like we said earlier, in your entire career, you're gonna find that you need to support Mac OS one way or another. But you can really kill two birds with one stone just by learning Linux. So please go out and watch this video so you guys can start learning Linux. Now you're probably wondering, what is the best Linux distribution to learn? And the first one that comes to mind and the first one that anybody is really gonna tell you is elementary OS. Now you do have to donate money to download the ISO for this. So donate a dollar, $5, $10, it's going to be the cheapest way that you can learn Linux and the Mac OS just by downloading this uh, ISO. So go and check that out. Links in the description below. I'm going to show you guys on my screen what this looks like and even compare it to the Mac so you can kind of get that visualization of the two of them. But that is going to be the best hands down distribution that you could pick up to really understand both Linux and the Mac OS. But in reality, go out and download any Linux distribution, whether it's Ubuntu, CentOS, I really don't care to be honest with you because there are so many similarities in all of these that you're gonna find that just learning one of those distributions will greatly help you in learning the Mac OS as well. So let's dive in and talk about some of the differences between the two of these so you guys can just get a brief visualization and then go out on your own and download a Linux distribution and start learning because it's going to be helpful any way you look at it. 
even if you'd never touch a Mac, but you probably will, learning Linux will be a huge value for you. So go do that right now. And if you want to learn more about Linux, please go check out IT Pro TV. They are an affiliate of mine. So when you click on the link, you sign up, you use my coupon code ITCQ30, which saves you 30%. I do get a little bit of kickback, full disclosure, so you guys understand, but they are my favorite training provider out there and they have a ton of Linux videos that can really help you understand that operating system. So go check them out. But now let's move over to the computer and show you the differences between the Mac OS and elementary OS. All right, so we're back and we have our screens pulled up here. As you guys can see in this top screen, this is the Mac OS and the bottom screen is the elementary OS. And already you can see that it looks pretty similar. You have your menu down here at the bottom and here we are on our uh, elementary OS. Menus look very similar to one another here at the bottom. You can see we have just uh, all of our different icons listed here. And on the Mac OS, you can see we have kind of a navigation window up here at the top. Uh, here you can pull up you know, your different settings, you can search for things, you can go to different uh, applications, different uh, areas within that operating system. Over here on the elementary OS, if you click on applications, this is gonna give you access to, again, those same type of things. You got your settings, you have different apps and stuff that you're, of course, able to access as well. And up here on the far right in the elementary OS, you guys have some options so that you can log out or shut down. Uh, you have some notification uh, information. You have whether you're wired or wireless, you have your sound settings. And of course, on the Mac OS, you have very similar options there. Uh, of course, you have you know your wireless setting, your sound settings, Bluetooth settings. And then, of course, if you have uh, custom applications and stuff installed, you may have options for those as well. So let's go and break down uh, some more similarities here and go into the system settings. So here's system settings on our elementary OS. And then of course on your Mac OS, you have something that's very similar. You have your system preferences. And from here, this is where you can change a lot of your different settings and stuff like that. And of course on elementary OS, it looks very similar. So going into the system settings on the elementary OS, you can see that we have our options for applications, desktop, notification, security, power, uh, your keyboard, touchpad, um, et cetera, the list goes on, right? And you're gonna find that these options are actually very similar on the Mac OS as well. You have general settings, desktop settings, uh, you have sound settings, you have Bluetooth settings, trackpad settings. They're very much very identical to one another in how it looks, how it operates. And then of course, let's talk about this really quick from our terminal. So let's actually go under applications here and we'll pull up a terminal. So this is what the terminal looks like in elementary OS and on our Mac, we can put in terminal. And here's what our terminal looks like on the Mac OS. Again, a lot of the terminal commands that you can use in the Mac will work the same on Linux and vice versa. You will find that some of them might have slight variations to them, but otherwise it's relatively the same. So let's just jump into how the files and folders are structured on the elementary OS compared to the Mac OS. So if we go over here to our Mac, uh, we can pull up a uh, computer and we'll go into Macintosh HD there. So as you guys can see, it's you know somewhat very similar to one another and the folder structure even and how you can access uh, you know different applications or different uh, folders inside of the operating systems. Uh, this is actually very similar to what you're going to find on any Linux OS for elementary OS, so what we're talking about specifically here. Uh, the Mac OS, it's slightly different, but it's still relatively the same in what you're able to access within that folder structure. Uh, this is just very important to keep note of. Uh, any operating system, it's really important to know and understand what the folder structures look like within that operating system so you know where you can find uh, you know, specific files and where they actually live in uh, these specific folders. So just knowing and understanding that is going to be very beneficial to you guys. But as you guys saw, it's something that if you look at one, you could kind of understand the other. And even just going through the file structure in Windows and comparing that to a Linux OS or a Mac OS, you're gonna find some similarities there as well. But obviously comparing Windows to Mac to Linux, you're gonna find a ton of things that are actually very different from one another. But just understanding the general structure of how uh, 
uh, everything is set up is going to be helpful for you. So I hope just giving you guys kind of this quick preview, this quick look into what Linux looks like and to what Mac looks like is helpful for you. You guys can, again, download the elementary OS or any other Linux OS just so you can get the feel of it. But as you guys can see, hopefully there's so much that is similar to one another that just learning Linux OS is going to greatly help you when you're trying to understand and learn the Mac OS. So go out, download Linux, start learning, and you'll by happenstance learn Mac. So that's all we got for today's video. I hope you guys appreciate it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or you have advice that you want to give to other people on what they should be learning, more specifics, please throw that in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, take it easy.